Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's layout is for the inkroad.com. The supplies I'm using are available on the online shop. And for today's layout, I am using the beautiful Kaiser Craft My, my Story, My Year collection. Um, I scrapped a picture of this uh, with this collection a while ago, but I'm taking kind of this calendar, I guess you would say like project life card and I'm using the bold bottom stripe of every single one and I'm using it in a rainbow kind of style. Um, there was no true blue but that purpley blue is what was is taking its place. So I thought I would also then go ahead and use Gel Medium by Dana Weekly um, to adhere these down so that it stays very um, flat and secure. And since I knew I was going to do mixed media on top of it, I didn't want any of these little um, pieces of paper to curl up, um, which would kind of ruin the mixed media portion. So tip for you, if you ever want something not to warp that you just kind of, you know, tape runner on top, you have to apply it with Gel Medium. So the red, the orange, yellow, these two green tones, and then the nice blue purpley is the final layout. And then I'll be going in with a Heidi Swap stencil um, that is called, I want to say it's Lattice. It's a 12 by 12 stencil that I've had in my collection for a while, and I go through it with some modeling paste. Um, just to give it some dimension and, you know, to obviously add some mixed media since it is my favorite. And I'm going to concentrate it mostly on the left hand side because I don't want it to compete too much with this rainbow layered um, goodness that I have going on on the right side. And I keep it white because I also toyed around with the idea of putting another color down, but I just wanted interest to the white side of the um, cardstock and not necessarily add more color. And as you saw, I'm doing this kind of very nonchalantly and just squeezing truly the modeling paste. This is my artist law found at Michael's, just straight onto the cardstock and going from there. Um, if I was mixing it with colors, I would have used like a, a palette area, but I just took it off from there. So there you can see and a nice dimension that it gives. Now I'm scrapping a picture, of course, of my dogs, um, and I'm using these, these are called Neo Crayons. Um, they're water-soluble wax crayons, meaning that they do just blend out with water. And I did it right there just to test to see how they would disperse, and they disperse pretty darn, darn well. So I'm going ahead and committing to that. And again, just keeping with this rainbow theme I got going on, we got a red, like a goldy orange, and then um, a bright yellow. So I love the way that's going on, and I'm going to do it on the bottom bottom half too with the cooler tones in the rainbow. So of course I'm scrapping a picture of my um, Kobe, my dogs in general. Um, in case you don't know the story, I actually rescued Kobe. Um, me and my family, meaning me and Miguel with my other doxy Zoe, we unfortunately um, lost a dog uh, early last year. Um, he I hate talking about it sometimes, um, but for those who know what it's like to lose a dog, he got hit by a car outside of our house um, at our old community, and he did not make it. And I was heartbroken. We had, um, we got, he was um, an American, not American, an English bulldog. So he had the wrinkly face, and he was all chunky and everything else. Um, he passed away because of that tragedy, and I pretty much had heartache, you know, about losing a dog. It was just a bad day and a bad car ride and a bad day at the animal hospital, as you can imagine. And we actually rescued Kobe probably like eight months after this all happened. And it was probably the best thing ever because not that I'll ever forget my other dog, um, but it's good to rescue and it's good to... I guess put all that love into someone else. Sorry, I'm getting all emotional. Stop it. <laughs> um, anyways, we just love him. And Kobe is full of energy. You see me scrap about him all the time. We've, you know, welcomed him into our home. And it's just been great. And him and my other doxy get along great too. So it's just nice. So my title for this layout will be Who Rescued Who? And I'm using the Maggie Holmes letters that were from the Shine Collection. They're also available at the Ink Road. And I did some uh, like shimmer mist on top that were from Dilusions. And then I am just thumbed around with some ephemera. Um, that XOXO with the rainbow colors is from the Amy Tangerine Better Together Collection. Um, that little snap tab is just sitting in my stash. These are a few things I just thumbed through. The heart this. The flare is from Feed Your Craft, an Etsy store online. 
And then that keeper is from an old Amy Tangerine collection as well. And so here are the alphas. Like I said, it'll say who rescued who because he really is wonderful. I'm glad we rescued him. I encourage anyone to rescue. Um, I went straight through the Docks and Rescue Center of South Florida. Um, he's the best, and I'm really glad that we have. So if you like any of the supplies I use, go to the inkroad.com. Use EV10 for a discount. And thank you, as always, for joining me. Bye. Bye.